Hello everyone. In this video, I want to take a look on how you can return the rows in Power Query that all contain the maximum value in a column. And there are some tricks to it, so stay tuned. Earlier, I received an email on my blog from Matt and Matt was trying to return the maximum value in certain rows. Now, the issue was he could return the maximum value However, if that maximum value appeared multiple times, then the approach he tried never returned all of those all of those rows, even though he wanted it to. Let's let's have a look at what the issue was. So, if you have a very simple data set like the one here, I created the table from scratch with this function here. And by writing this, you can see there's a column called A and a column called B, and then there are certain values in there. Now, a first approach could be let's see if we can return the line with the maximum value in the column A. I could start a new formula and I could write something like equals table max and your table max returns the largest row or a default value given the criteria. But what happens if your largest row contains duplicates? So the largest uh, value in column A is six, but six appears double, like it appears two times and you want to see both of those. Let's see. So I could say like, hey, I want to have a look at column A. And what does this return when we click? Now, what it returns is one of the records that we have. So we go back, a record is actually, this is a record, and then here we have another record. But you might have expected it to return for you two lines. And well, we can have a look if we can achieve that in some way. But first of all, it's good to know that the table max function simply returns you uh, a, a single line, whatever you do here. So how can we approach that in a different way? We can duplicate this and we can just write example two. So if we go back here and the goal is to return the maximum or the minimum value, let's see what happens if we normally did a filter. So by right clicking and then pressing number filter equals, there is a little template that's generated for us in the formula bar. And we can simply adjust this template to find the maximum value in your column. So instead of saying that it's six, we could also have it look for the maximum value of the previous step. And to look at the previous step, you reference the name source, but you also need to know the column name, which is the, the column A. Okay, let's see. So if in a new step, just as an example, if I would reference the step called source, then this step would show me exactly the same as the first step called source. I can then say I want to reference column A and it would return me a list of all the values in column A in the step source. Now, if I want to return the maximum value here, well, because this already is a list, I could simply write list max. And this should give us the answer of the maximum value. Now, knowing this part, what the maximum value is and how to retrieve it, I'm just gonna copy this, delete the step. I can then go back to this step and adjust the code. So instead of saying it's six, I can just write, it equals the list max of column A in the previous step. And that actually returns us the two values there or the two lines that we wanted to. So you can play around with that. And if you wanna make this the opposite, you could of, of course also say, I want the minimum line to be returned. So the list minimum of this line. And in that way, you could actually return your duplicates when you're trying to see what the maximum value in a column is. Now, I hope that works. If you have any other more fun challenges, uh, feel free to drop them below and I'll see if I can, uh, if I can help you in any way. Okay. Well, until the next one. See ya.